The Daimyo Yashiki model is from Japan and it was produced for the 1873 World Exhibition in Vienna, which was the first time when Japan introduced itself or presented itself to the Western world after its opening. あの、教授さんね、見たんですよ。見た印象は、やはり武蔵屋のこだわりが詰まっているものだっていう感じがしました。いずれにせよ、その他ではまれなできない、できないようなところに、やはり武蔵屋のこだわりの一つ。For me, this model feels old type model. What all time means like Edo period feeling. There are not so many existing sample of Edo period model in Japan. We are very excited. Es ist also in erster Linie eine Holzkonstruktion, aber äh, es ist zu erwähnen, dass sämtliche Baumaterialien wie im Original vorkommen, also das, was Dachziegeln sind, ist wirklich aus Ziegel gearbeitet, das, was Dachrinne ist, ist wirklich aus Kupferblech gearbeitet, es sind sogar die Metallspitzen am Zaun geschmiedet und gebläut, es ist in jedem kleinsten Detail im Original. Man kann zum Beispiel auch diese Schiebewände eigentlich verschieben. Und wenn man bei den anderen Modellen, wenn man einschaut, sieht man die dann auch einfach weiter ausgestaltet. hat Japan von der österreichisch-ungarischen Regierung die Einladung bekommen, an der Weltausstellung 1873 in Wien teilzunehmen. Und für Japan war das eine besondere Situation und besondere Herausforderung, weil zur damaligen Zeit Japan in eine Reihe von für Japan sehr unangenehmen Verträgen gezwungen worden ist. Verträgen mit England, mit Frankreich, mit Russland, mit Amerika, mit Österreich-Ungarn. Japan war aufgrund seiner selbstgewählten Abschließung in allen Bereichen mehr oder weniger hinten nach, vielleicht abgesehen vom kulturellen Gebiet und ähm, wollte eben das so schnell als möglich wieder einholen, aufholen. Hat also zu, bei dieser Einladung äh, zugegriffen und diese Einladung genützt um zu zeigen, dass es den anderen Ländern ebenbürtig ist. Das ist das Modell eines Daimyo Yashiki, einer Daimyo Residenz. Und was ich jetzt selbst nur aus der Literatur weiß, ist, dass dieses Modell nach der Weltausstellung in Wien geblieben ist, wie so viele andere Gegenstände von auch anderen Ländern teilweise verkauft wurden, teilweise verschenkt wurden. So many museums were interested to keep them, to purchase them and to display them later on to the public. One of them of course was the Vienna Museum of Ethnology, today called the Weltmuseum. So several exhibits like these housing models remained at the Museum of Ethnology in Vienna. We first learned about the existence of this model through our colleague, Professor Zwerger. He told us that there was um, this uh, Daimyo Yashki, which uh, probably had not been restored or even touched upon for more than 140 years. So he asked us if we were interested to start a project about it. We also thought it would be worth displaying again after 140 years. And as it came at that time, it was 2011 which was the time of the Tohoku earthquake in Japan and the afterwards tsunami in Fukushima. And we had the idea of using this model as a kind of symbol for the restoration of Japan and to put as much effort into it to raise the awareness for the situation in Japan. And the other motivation later came from the museum as they decided that they would restore the whole museum and reopen it later 
with a different exhibition concept and they would like to have rooms, each room dedicated to one country and they thought that it would make a very good centerpiece for the Japan exhibition room. Fortunately, we got some researchers from the Kyoto Institute of Technology and also within the Vienna University of Technology there are three institutes cooperating with us. So currently we are doing the documentation process with the laser scanning from our side and also the manual uh, measuring from the side of Japanese students. And both will do a documentation of the current state of the model and it will be interesting to compare, I think, the output of both this digital laser scanning and of the manual measuring afterwards. The museum itself is also gathering information about the missing parts, if anything has been damaged. And afterwards, of course, we will try and start to reproduce the parts. For the documentation of the Daimyo Yashiki model, we were using a three-dimensional scan arm to make a three-dimensional model. Scan arm is documenting stripe by stripe in a very detailed and precise way all information of the model. The documentation was done with a group of students and it's a quite long and a slow documentation method. So we decided to change the method of documentation. We are using at the moment photogrammetry. It's like with the eyes of a person, you take pictures from two different standpoints of an object. Mm -hmm. With a certain computer program, you can calculate a three-dimensional model out of the pictures. So you don't have to have this huge 3D scan arm, which we were using, but you just take a digital camera and make pictures. We will do this documentation from the exterior of the whole model, of all three parts, and if it's possible also from the interiors. And then there will be built a three-dimensional virtual model which can be shown in the exhibition. Um es wieder dem Publikum zugänglich machen zu können, sind sehr große restauratorische Aufwendungen notwendig, insbesondere Reinigungsarbeiten, aber es sind eben auch viele Teile verloren gegangen. Ich möchte vor allem die Dachziegel erwähnen. Es fehlen ca. 9000 Dachziegel, die überhaupt erst erzeugt werden müssen. Das ist ein großer Arbeitsaufwand, der hier getätigt werden muss. Wir schätzen circa drei Mann, Frau, Jahre Arbeit, die hier hineinfließen wird. The current deadline is the reopening of the museum, which should be probably in the beginning of 2017, approximately two years from now on to finish it. The rediscovery of this model might be also a first step, because there are many tens or hundreds of models maybe in Europe from Japan, these hidden treasures in the museums of Europe can tell us, as this model, some more about Boise architectures. Mm-hmm.